Hey guys, Dan Heilman back with another Eternal Evolution video. Today we're going to do another guide on Rise of Heroes. I do this guide every time it comes out, but uh, just for new players and stuff, just want to show you how to maximize the rewards in here. Um, this is open for two weeks. It just opened this morning. Very first thing you're going to do is go into the scrolling stage. You're going to go through normal and you're going to kill everything on normal. Um, try to do it first thing when you get in because the stamina starts rolling. It, like when you wake up, it'll already be full. So start in here, at least do a couple levels before you do anything else. Um, and then you can buy this every single day. Oh, they finally changed the text to say daily purchases instead of weekly. So you can purchase these every day. I do recommend purchasing them. Now you're going to go through, you're going to clear everything on normal. Do not kill the normal boss. There is no need for it. Um, you can absolutely skip it. Then you go to hard. You're going to finish all of these. Uh, then you have to kill the hard boss, you have to kill the hell boss, and then now they have added the purgatory boss as well. Um, as far as sweeping goes, what you're going to do is you're going to buy all your tickets every day. Now, now tomorrow, say you've already cleared everything, you're going to come in here, you're going to purchase all your tickets, you're going to sweep this level three times, you're going to sweep the next one three times, you're going to go all the way through these, then you're going to go to normal, and you're going to sweep 110 the rest of the times using your remaining tickets, okay? Um... Yeah, let's go through the boss. Actually, I'll do the bosses at the end. Let me just show you the raffle shop and how everything works. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple, but there's a couple of things you may not know. So let me move myself a little bit over here. Uh, there's a couple of settings here. So very first thing, let's see if this is all the same. Um, five. Is that different? I thought the first two sets had... Maybe not. Okay, so you, you basically what you want is you want these limited tickets and you want these gene hybrids. The rest are kind of a, just a nice to have feature. So let me talk about how this works. You have a mega jackpot and a regular jackpot. You're not able to reset the prize pool until you get the mega jackpot, but still you want to wait until you get the limited tickets because you're going to be able to get all of those jackpots as long as you can kill the hell boss. Okay, you don't need to kill the purgatory boss, um, but you do need to purchase extra stamina. Um, so that's important. Now you can hit some settings here. You can change it to 10, 50, 100, whatever you want. I do 10, and what I do is I go through here. I use 10. I use 10. Um, I got the jackpot already, so I could reset, but I still got five limited tickets in here, so I don't want to reset yet. I want to I wanna continue in here until I get all five of those. As soon as I get the five of those, I'm going to stop. Um, you can... Uh, do single pulls if you want, but I'm too lazy for that. So there's my first limited. There's my second. Uh, there's my third. And we're out of tickets. Okay, let me just uh, grab real quick the event mission. Um, let's grab some of this. We get some here. Okay, perfect. There's all sorts of stuff in here. You don't have any quest to do normal. You can see unlock normal. You don't have to kill normal. That's why I said skip that one. There's no point in doing it. Um, and basically, there's nothing in here to kill purgatory as well. You just have to unlock it. So that only means killing the hell boss. Um, so you don't, you're not required to kill Purgatory. You do get more rewards, but you'll still be able to get all of the jackpot rewards, um, even if you don't kill Purgatory, as long as they haven't changed anything since the last couple. Okay, we got some more raffles. So let me just show you real quick. Um, there, I got one more limited, and then I can reset. Okay, so there's my last limited. So now. You can continue pulling, but look at what the rewards are. A couple of random nonsense. Don't even worry about it. Reset the pool. As soon as you get these top two ones, reset the pool and continue on, okay? Um, and then you're going to continue rinse and repeat going through all that stuff there. Um, don't forget to do these daily achievements. Now, I've seen some people say um, don't use your challenge tickets unless you can kill Purgatory. Because you can wait till the end. Now, you do miss out on five of these every day if you do that. So, it might make up for it. But what you also could do is you could just sweep the hell boss one time a day. Save the rest of the tickets. And then do the purgatory boss when your account's a little bit stronger. You know what I mean? So, the longer... I mean, if you're pretty far in the... If you've just started, then you may have trouble with the hell boss, right? I'm sorry, purgatory. So, okay, I haven't done hell boss yet. Let's... Uh, I'll show the bosses real quick. You're going to want to use summoner teams. Um, here's the summoner team that I am using. You can use Anpu. You can use any of these summoners. Uh, Daniel's going to be really strong here, EX30. If you have a Daniel EX30, I'm thinking you can probably do this, especially if, you, especially if you're at level 240 um, for the Purgatory boss. The Hell boss is, is quite easy, especially if you have summons. You can do this with Hunters, but the summons help a lot because the boss um, basically... 
prioritizes summons uh, right here you can see prioritize summons and I think summons deal more damage to him as well if I'm not mistaken yeah here you go increase damage from summoners by 75% so you can use hunters in here um, but summoners are gonna give you a big advantage for sure okay so that was fine um, I'll show you purgatory boss it's gonna be it's gonna be easy for me it may be Oh, I have a hunter team in here randomly. I don't know how these guys got in here, but okay. Uh, I guess we're trying a hunter team. Um, this is, I think I was trying a bunch of teams last time to see if it was possible with a hunter team. You do want some summoners in here. If you don't have any summoners, um, <clears throat> the boss kind of deals a lot of damage because he's not prioritizing the summons, right? So you do kind of want to throw some in here. You can use two hunters. You can use two hunters, two summoners, and a healer. Um, or you can use all summoners and a healer. You can see I'm using Brynhild here. I'm not even using the summoner. Um, but you can see Daniel's doing the most damage even. Well, yeah, I guess he gets more damage from summon, so that makes sense. So this team works. Obviously, you do want to use summons. Um, it saves your team specifically depending on the difficulty, which is kind of weird and annoying. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Not too bad. Uh, I was able to do it on my free-to-play account as well, but my free-to-play account is like four and a half months old, so that account is, um, you know, fairly well experienced, and I'm actually starting to get a couple level 240s, um, so we're going to upgrade. We're going to do the Hyper Evolve uh, sometime soon on my free-to-play as well, but yeah, I was able to one-shot that with just a regular summoner team. Okay, there we go. Uh, 108, 108, 83, 45, okay? So uh, that was kind of a hybrid team that I randomly threw in there. Again, you want summoner teams ideally for this. That's going to be your best bet. Um, I talked about all this. He gains more damage over time. So if you take too long to kill him, he starts doing a lot of damage. But he takes increased damage from summons, which is quite useful. Um, and he also prioritizes them with this 10 missile thing. So if you don't have a lot of summons, this can deal a lot of damage, right? Because... It's just hitting summons, which you don't really care that much about. Um, so, okay. So then once oops, once you're there, then you can just sweep this. Again, if you want to wait, you can. But I would at least sweep Hellboss one time per day. Just for those five additional um, tokens. Um, I haven't done the math. I guess, let's see, 20. You get 25 here. I don't know. I haven't done the math exactly, but you can do kind of whatever you want. You can either sweep the hell boss one time and then save your tickets for purgatory, or you can save all your tickets for purgatory. Um, I don't know. Tomato, tomato, right? So, okay, you're going to come in here and sweep along with uh, sweeping your other stuff, and you're going to just, uh, you know, use them all in this raffle shop and go to town, and that's going to be it. These events are great. Um, it's just basically free loot, right? So old John looks cool. Um, <clears throat> once I finally get some time to build him, he does true damage displacement. He looks kind of cool. Um, fires three shotgun rounds in the target direction. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go through his kit in another video. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and sub. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and sub. Have a great day. Baby Lucas says, hey guys, hit that subscribe button and that like button. Yay! Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got some other videos up top. If you want to check out anything else, have a great day, everyone. See you guys.